Hi everybody, I'm Kathy Lee and I'd like to welcome you to my home. I know Regis thinks that I have no life away from him, but the truth is I have a very active life right here with my family, Frank, the human love machine Gifford, and our two absolutely precious children, Cody and Cassidy, maybe you've heard of them. But I have a confession to make, and that is that for most of my life I was one of those people that absolutely hated the whole idea of exercise, much less really getting out there and doing it. I'd much rather eat cheesecake, you know what I'm talking about. But then I had my first child, and nothing was where I had left it afterwards. So I started working out on a treadmill a couple of miles a day, and then I had my second baby, and then I turned 40, and then I needed a total body overhaul, and that's when I got really serious about exercise. And that's when I began this full body routine that I'm gonna share with you today. Now listen, I am no expert in physical fitness. I don't pretend to be. I, I think it's enough, don't you, that I'm the perfect wife and mother? I mean, there's only so much a person can do. So in a few moments, I'm going to introduce you to a woman who is a physical fitness expert, along with three of my very, very best friends. So we can all do this together, okay, and inspire one another and actually have fun in the process. I promise you that. Now, listen, I'm a working mother. But whether you go to a studio or you go to an office or you stay home with your children, you are a working mother. So this is for you. And whether you have children or not, it's still for you. Whether you're 40 or not, it's still for you because it's a full body workout. All right, are you getting ready? All right, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, no, I don't want to take time out of my busy life, no matter what it is, for something that seems as frivolous as exercise. Well, listen, believe me, it's the best thing you can do for you and your family. Since I've been doing this workout, I have more strength, more stamina, more energy than I've ever had in my whole life, and you can too. So you ready? You ready? It's gonna be hard at first. It's gonna take some time to get into it. And then afterwards, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can work different parts of your body during the course of your everyday home life, okay? You ready? Okay? All right, well, we can't start until you put down that donut. No excuses left. Time to get started. I'd like to introduce you to a lady that you're going to grow to hate every bit as much as I do because she's so good at her job. This is C.B. Yelverton. She has her master's in health and physical education. And C.B., tell me, besides going to a doctor and making sure it's okay for you to start, what else do we need to know? Water is extremely important. Make sure you have water during the workout. Drink it during the workout. Okay. Also, Watch your pace. If you're working too hard, you need to slow down. And a good way to, to check that is to do the talk test. If you can't have a conversation while you're doing the workout, because this is an interval and strength training workout, if you can't talk, that means you're working too hard. Slow the pace down. Okay. You can also take your pulse for about 10 seconds on your neck or on, a, or on your artery. And so those are good ways to check how hard you're working. To determine your heart rate, subtract your age from 220 beats per minute. Then multiply that number by 0.55 and 0.85. This is your target heart rate zone. Take your pulse for 10 seconds and multiply that number by 6. Another thing is, we're going to be working with 1 to, to 3 pound weights, mm -hmm. but you don't have to use weights in the beginning if you're new to the program. So that's important for people to know. Listen Work to your, at your body. Pace. Right? Listen. Okay. And I know that you stress form. A form great is deal. extremely important. You drive important. me crazy with this form Because stuff. form pre prevents injury, and that's extremely important. Make sure that you have your, your legs hip width apart or a little wider, and then your tailbone down to prevent arching in the back. Keep your abs in and your ribs down. She's perfect. So when you say keep soft legs, that's what you're talking slightly about. Bent knee, a little bit. Slightly bend the knees. And there's one exercise we do for the flocum, the tricep the area, The tricep right? group. You remember that knee. Yeah. Great. The arms are up, and as you bend the elbows, make sure that the hands do not pass middle the middle of your head, and then extend. Keeping, make, keeping sure that you keep the, the elbows in toward Close the head. Close to your head, yeah. That's important, not out here. Okay. Okay. We don't want anybody to get hurt. We want everybody to have a, some fun That's through good. all of this, too, okay? Besides getting fit and fabulous. Mm -hmm. And there are some ladies who are going to help us do that today. Ladies, it's time. There will be a designated beginner for all of you who have never, ever done an exercise uh, uh, of this sort before, and that is my good friend, Lori Johnson. She also happens to be Cassidy's godmother. Thanks, Lori. Thank you. And my baby sister, Lou. 
little Mishy Mader. Yes, I actually I'm the younger one. And uh, really. <laughs> and Denise Carley from uh, Maryland, my very good friend since the third grade. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Let's get fit. Let's be fabulous. All Let's right. have some fun. Let's warm up. Five, six, march it out. This is our warm up. We're gonna keep the feet going while we warm up the upper body. Shoulder rolls back. This makes my upper lip go more. more. <laughs> twist the arms out, twist. twist. Four more. Circle back again and circle back. Good. <laughs> Four more. Twist it out. Bring the arms up, shoulder height. Good. Now bend the elbows, place the hands on the shoulders. Circle the elbows back. Four more. Good. Now reverse. Forward. Circle back again and round. Exaggerate the movement now. Reverse and Good. Four more. Elbows close. Here we go. Press them in and press back. Press in, press back. Two more. One more. Up tempo for eight. And yeah. I like it. Four more. How we doing? All right. Reach up. Right and left. And right and left. Double up. Again. Right. Two. Three. Double for four. Now forward. Reach out. Double up. Singles. Are we having fun yet? Double yep. up. Yeah. Is this well, we're warming part? up, that's for sure. <laughs> Look to the side and reach out. Double up. Single. Look. Okay, we're going to walk forward three and clap on four. Good. Right. Back. Forward. Back. Two more sets. Forward. Back. One more. March for eight in. Legs together. Open up. Yeah, my favorite. In for four. How are we doing, Denise? Great. Hello. Hey. In four. Out four. Two with the clap. Push the hands down. Have fun with it. Have a fun, Lord. Watch your place. A. Toe taps forward, right and left. And toe. Four more. Three arms here. Take it side. Four more. Let's add the arms now. Show the height. Stretch the ankles. And now side. Four more. Why not? Eight again. Exaggerate the movement. Reach oh, down. Oh, Come on. Now side. Reach out. Stretch it. Good. Forward again. Four counts. Side for four. Four again. You back there, Lori? Yeah. Yeah. Side four. Walk it out. Okay. Here we go. Two. Two more. Three. Oh, you can count. One more. <laughs> Favorite part. Watch it for eight. One, three, four, five, six. Seven, Watch out. Eight, two, Take it. Two, three, four, five, In for four. Out for four. In four again. Out four. Two with the clap. Here we go. Push it down. Two more. One more. March it out for eight. We're going to do side and touch. Here we go. Side touch. Did I hear some snapping fingers? Okay, so honey. Step and cross the leg. No weight on Very the front foot. Here. Four more. Step. Step. Touch side. Step. 
Step and cross the arms, palms down for four. Now palms up for four. Let's do that again to the side. <laughs> Step and cross. Four more. Let's walk forward. Have a good time. It's our last set here. This is the last time you'll have fun for about a half an hour. <laughs> One more here. Watch in for eight. Open up for eight. Go, girl. In four. Out for four. In four again. And out. Two counts. Tap it. Push. Good. Watch and play. Let's take the arms up. Interlace the fingers, palms up, hold it there, stretch. Bend the stretch. Four more. Five, eight, six, six seven. and seven, eight. Pull it back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Without arching, keep your ribs down. Hold it there. And bend the right elbow. Pull the elbow in toward the head. Feel the tricep stretching. Yep. Feel that? Yeah, we are. Other side. Pull it. Relax the back of your neck. Good. Arms down. Right arm across the chest. And pull the arm in across the chest. Great upper back stretch and your back deltoid. Better known as the shoulders. Jesus. Other side. Those deltoids. Show off. Four more. Shoulders down. Good. Lower your arms. Interlace the fingers behind you. And pull the shoulders back for two. And release. Again, back, two, release. And now we're going to hold it here. We sure have you it. on me for this. Thanks yeah. a lot. Pull it up there. <laughs> good. Oh, good. Ah. Shake it out. Open the legs. Turn the legs out a little bit. Arms up. And we're going to bend the knees. Ready? And arms down and up. Two. Keep your head straight up. Don't lean forward. Four up. more. Back straight. Six. Seven, one more. Place your hands on the thighs. Turn the legs forward, toes forward, and let's stretch the inner thighs. Good. Feel that bottom up in the air. <laughs> Other side. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Abs are tight. Again, let's go to the right. Shoulders down. This actually feels great. It does feel good, doesn't it? Yeah. Other side. Wait till you hear the feel the next one. <laughs> Bring the legs together here. Back stretch. Okay. And one. And release. Tailbone down. And release. Now you're going to hold this position. Good. Hold it there. As tight. Five. Six. Good. Roll up. Good. Now we're going to stretch the back of the leg. Place your hands on the thigh. The knee doesn't have to be bent. Stretched here. You can bend it a little bit. Pull the toes toward you, really pull. Feel the calf stretch. Oh, yes, hello. Here we go, other side. Shoulders back, keep the really back. Feel that. Try to keep your back. That's a little bit more. Good. Oh. Okay, let's roll up. Now we're going to stretch the front of the quads, or the, the front of the thighs, the quads here. Pull it there, now contract. And release. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. And release. And tailbone down and hold it there. Good. Feel the stretch. Oh, yes. Now we're going to do an extra stretch for the calf. Hold it back there. Oh, perfect. Uh, so Frank's just here. Really? <laughs> other side. Uh, don't get yeah, cocky. I'll the other side this way with you. Contracted it. And release. Press the hip forward. A good hip flexor stretch. And release. Now hold it there. Good. Keep breathing. <laughs> I have to tell you that, you know. It's people true, think I because stopped. you're holding a position, you shouldn't breathe. Good. Legs together now. And we're going to roll up. Oh, the warm-up's finished. And now we're going to move on to There's a more? strength training. 
and our aerobic work, which is what interval is all about. I'm oh my God! Bend your knees and pick up your weights. We're going to talk a little bit about your placement. Remember, you want your feet shoulder width apart, and remember to move slowly through the, with the weights with control, pressing up and over, elbows going slightly back. Here we go. Twelve counts and. How's Lori doing over there? She's great. great. Good. I'm sure, she's got one pound. Four right. more. <laughs> Eleven. One more. Hold it here. Press it up for twelve. Great. Press it up. Relax the back of your neck here. Good. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more here. Good. Now place the weights down. Our aerobic interval is coming up. You're going to kick and push. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more here. I feel like a dork. Turn to the right for four. <laughs> yeah. Now turn slowly to the center. And stay here. I feel like I'm gonna kick Turn to the left. Little. Two, three, four, and stay for four. Turn center. Two, three, four, and stay. Last time to the right. And stay. And turn center. We're gonna finish here. Keep going. Ten seconds. Seven. Up to 16, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, great. I want to die. Two more sets, Kathy. Ready, curl up for 12. One. Give me some control here. That's it. And breathe out. Tailbone down. Abs in. Ribs down. Have all that? Uh-oh. Knees slightly bent. Two more. One more. Press it up. Here we go. Up. That's it. Relax the back of your neck. Good. Remember, if it's too much for you, you don't have to use weight. Get used to it first. Two more coming up. One more. Great. Place the weights down. Slow's well, glad it's over until you have to do this again. Ready, kick and push. Ready, go and kick it out. Keep your legs low. You don't have to keep them high here. Oh, I love them. Oh, you like my legs. I'm taking it low. 14, 15, turn right for four. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> Third. Stay here now. Now to the left. Four count. Stay for four. Turn center. My water over here. And stay. Again, last time to the right. And stay. How's the knee? Good. Turn. Center. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 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 Eight. Eleven. Twelve. Got a Thirteen. Got karate. Two more. Good. Is this the third set? Yes. yes. Oh, gee. Go and one. Curl two. This is fun because they're squat. Three. Wait till the squats come, huh? Three. Keep the knees slightly bent. Toes straight forward. Two more to go. One more. Overhead press. Good. Keep breathing. If you stop during the section, just pants in place. You build up your strength. Four more. Two more. One more. Good. Here we go. The last one. Here we go. Eight more forward. You can do this on any surface, right? Yes. 
carpeting. Linoleum, turn to the right. Let's stay here for four count. Turn center. This is non impact, so. How far should you be bringing your arms back? Just naturally back. And stay. And turn. You don't want to stress the shoulders. Turn to the right for the last time. Aren't you happy? Yes. Turn to the center. Ten seconds. Give it yes. all you got. <laughs> Four more. There we go. Ah, okay, now we're gonna do tricep work. Arms up and extend. And two. Exhale three. Remember not to drop your weight. Take your weight about this, the middle of your head there. Keep your ribs down, tailbone down, everybody. Tailbone down, that's it. Take it here and down. Now we're going to take the arms to the side. Keep the arms slightly curved. And a little in front, huh? Slightly in front, you can see that. I'm doing it perfectly. Watch perfectly, me. good. <laughs> Four more here. Now two more. One more. Good. Place it down. We have a different movement. You're going to bring your knees to the side. Okay? And lift. And then we're going to move forward. I'll give you a cue. Eight more. Let's move up. And four forward. Watch your weight. Now stay here. Take it back for four, two, three, four, and stay. Again, forward. Oh, and lift. Yay. Two, three, four, and stay. And back. Remember to keep your standing knees soft. And stay. It's like my old cheerleading day. And forward. Best days of my life. <laughs> four, and stay. Or were they? <laughs> and back. It's our last one back. Now stay here, 10 seconds. Seven, eight, lift, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. And your weights. Bring the arms up, overhead. Ribs down, extend. One, extend, two. Keep your ribs down, keep your abdominals tight. Tailbone down, and the knees slightly bent. If you have to stop, it's okay. Let the program work for you. Hold it here. Bring the arms down slowly. Lateral raises. Here we go. One. This is a great exercise to shape the shoulder muscles. Better known as the deltoid. Is that a sorority? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. One more. Great. Our aerobic interval is coming up. Knees to the side. Five, six, ready, go. And lift, lift. Lori's okay back there. Lori's great. Good. Four more here. Let's move it up. Yes, we're going, we're going places here. And I told you I'd take you places. Oh, thank you, Kathy. And take it back. I don't think so. <laughs> you did mention Italy. <laughs> and forward. We're traveling, huh? Oh, yeah. And stay. Take it back. And stay. Last time forward. Here we go. And Do you ever start to lose your balance? It sure seems to help to look down for a second. So yeah, just, yeah, yeah sort of. Yourself. Sure. Ten seconds. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and you're finished. Take the weights. Bring the arms in. Ready, extend. One, check your form. What is it? Ribs down, yes? Yes. yes. Check. Abs in, check. Tailbone down. Knees are soft. Two more, keep breathing. One more, hold it there. 
Bring your arms down. Get ready. Go, lift it up. And two, three, four. Keep control. No momentum. Lots of control. Four more. Good. Two more. One more. Good. The last interval. Okay, here we go, ladies. Ready? And knee to the side. Eight more center. Traveling, here we go, okay. forward. And that's it. Take it back. And stay here. Make sure the standing leg is slightly bent. And stay. And take it back. And stay. One more forward. Here we go. Up. Two. Three. Four. Stay. And back. You can stop at any moment, but make sure you prance and play. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, that's a wrap up. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's my yes. favorite. Feet, shoulder width apart, hands on the thighs, the weight is in the heels. As you go down, make sure the knees are not before in front of your toes, but slightly back, all the weight's back there. Okay, keep the abs in, ribs down, and keep breathing. Right? I'm moving, baby. Okay, ready? <laughs> Two counts down, one. Two, and squeeze and lift. Two, and squeeze. What are we squeezing here? The gluteus maximus. Our butt. It is. Just yeah, bring that down low. low. Medium. And minimum. Mine is still maximum. <laughs> One more. Now the fun part. Here ah. we go. One, squeeze and lift. Two, press the heels into the floor. Remember when you're doing your squats, keep your hands on the thighs to support and protect your back. Make sure the knees are over your toes. Make sure you're not jamming those knees. Fourteen, two more. Oh, good. Yeah. Shake it out. We're going to bring the elbows to the knees. Eight singles and eight doubles. Here we go. And in. Six, seven, two on the right now. Two left, two right, two left. Now singles. In, 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 in. One more five, six, seven. Now doubles. And in, two, in, two, in, two. Good. Now singles. How we doing? Okay. Now doubles. I'm glad. Okay, singles. No more doubles. Doubles here. Pull it in. Keep going. Woo. Ten seconds. Good. Woo. Ready? Your abs in. Two more. Squeeze and lift. One more. Here we go. Okay. And one, two, three, four. How are we doing, Denise? <laughs> Miss. Hang in there. Seven. I'm sure Lori's fine. I can't do the talk test. <laughs> Do that talk test. If you okay. can't talk, we're talking, right? Twelve. Four more. That means we're okay. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Okay. Elbow to knee. Here we go. And in. Four more. Now, two right. Now, single. 
single. And double right. How are you doing? Okay. Here. Singles. Next we're seeing with reaches look like fun. <laughs> and double. Even Gelman. Oh my. Single. All the way singles here. Keep it going. Four more. Good. Woo, woo. We're gonna squat and lift. Keep the legs Ooh. turned parallel. Flex the foot as you come up. Keep fancy. Here we go. Press. Press. Lift. Lift. Keep your abs in. Protect the lower back. You don't have to go as low in order to get the feel of this. Work at your own level. 15, one more. Good, okay. We're gonna bring the knee up, singles and up. Same pattern as before. Here comes the doubles. Lori's giving a modified version of this. Singles. How to keep the one knee soft, right? Uh -huh. So I'm soft knee. Doubles. Keep the knees over toes still. Singles. Yes. Up. Two, three, four more. Doubles. Oh my thighs going the way under the pound feet. Here's the singles. We're staying here with the singles now. Keep going. Keep breathing. Mommy, yeah. I have no Italian in here. But you're talking. Okay. Woo. Six. Seven. How many do we do with these? Six to eight. Okay. Eight. Oh no, that's right. We just do eight. Oh. <laughs> we passed it already. Squeeze. 14, 15, 16, okay, knee up, ready, here we go, and up, double right, now singles, and doubles, Singles. Up, 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 up. Six, eight, double. Good, good. You better stay with the singles. Finish it out now. Lift it up, breathe. Ten seconds. Ten. Keep it going. Eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, okay. Woo! We're gonna turn. Put the right leg back. All the weight into the right leg. We're gonna do just the right hip now. Make sure the abs are in, and you're gonna extend the arm out and pull in as you lower. Let's take it slow and down. Two, four, and two. I hope you feel the heel pressing into the floor to come up. Keep the hand, your left hand on the thigh so you have some support for your back. And a up tempo. Now be careful not to jam the knee. Three, three, four, five, six. Seven, looking good girls, really. You really are. Nine, ten, squeeze the bun. It's the right bun now. Four more. 
And, and we have to do the other side, right? Oh, oh yeah. One more. Good. Turn the other side, shake it out. Left leg back. Ready? On down. Way back. Here we go. Down, two, and up. Three and four. Make sure the knee is over the toe. All your toes, that is. Keep the feet flat. Make sure the heel stays down. Here we now go. Now up tempo. One, two, three. Keep the heels on the floor. Six, seven. Eight more now. One, two, three, four more. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Aerobic interval. We're going to lift the legs up to the front and to the side. Four to the front. Here we go. One, three. Now side. Soft knee. And. Not really a kickback, huh? No, it's a leg lift. Good. Forward. Side. And again. And side. Can you talk? Oh, oh good. Talk, talk, what do you want to hear? Talk is cheap. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stay here. No more side. Finish it out. Ten seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good. Turn to the left. Right leg back. Ready? And one. And up. And two. Make sure all the weight is back in the heel. Sit back. Two more slow. Abs tight. Knees over toes. This is the last one right here. Now up tempo. Here we go. I get so excited for this up tempo. Three, squeeze. Four. Make sure you're not jamming your knees. That's it. Seven. Eight. 10, 11, 12, 4 more, 13, 14, 15, 16, other side, shake it out, left leg back, support the thigh on hand of the thigh, ready, weight into the heel, and up, and down, and up, knees over toes, make sure your knees don't go in toward the middle, they go over the toes. Six. Up. Seven. One more slow. Believe it or not, this is our last set of squats. Yay. Up tempo. One. Squeeze. However, our next interval segment, we're going to do the squat and leg lift to finish not it me. out. <laughs> yes. No. We're gonna, this is the butt finale. I had to hear the good Nine, coming. Ten. So we're not going to lift the legs forward on the last interval train segment, okay? We got that? Okay. Fifteen. One more. Six. Good. Squat and lift. And. Woo. Believe it or not, this is aerobic also. Flex the foot, turn the toes in, parallel, squeeze, and good, and lift, and Mama, lift, good, we finish. Okay, we're ready to cool down a little bit before the abdominals, parallel feet, abs tight, breathe deeply, and up, and lower, and two, down, and three. And lower. One more. Good. Now let's take the arms up and to lace the fingers and stretch. Chin down. Keep stretching. 
all that goes good. And now the right tricep, pull it in, hold it there. Five, six, seven. Other side and stretch. Good. Five, seven, eight. Let's get a good stretch in the back, upper back, middle back, tailbone down. Let's hold it there. Keep breathing. Hold the position, not your breath. Great. Now we're finished. Oh, good. Yes. Finish that little yes. cool oh down there. Gosh. Way to go, ladies. Good. So Good. time to get some water, right? Yes. Right. Right. Good. Time to put those uh, weights away. We're not going to use them anymore. Drink and also drink a lot of water during this time. It's really good. Okay. You get a towel or, or a mat. mat Anything the back. to protect that lower back. Support the back. Visit the ladies' room if you have to, which I do. Press that pause button, and we'll see you. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Hope you're all refreshed. I personally had my nails done, but now we're ready to work on those abs, okay? The stomach area is a big problem for a lot of women, CB, especially like many of us who've had babies, and it's just not the same place that it used to be. <laughs> now, this woman, I want you to take a good close look at this woman. Uh, she is 46 years old and about to become a grandmother, so now I think we all right. agree we better listen to this woman. We might end up looking like you. All right, CB, what do we do for those abs? Let's lie down here. A couple of things I want you to remember. We're going to be doing what we call a back stretch or a back check. We're going to stretch our backs between the various exercises that we're going to do. And it's really important to do that. And you can do that at any time during the exercise if your back feels stressed. During the exercise, make sure you don't use any momentum, which can cause arching in the back. Control your movement. And make sure you keep your neck relaxed, arms are down, and curl and release. Exhale and curl and release. Exhale and release. Keep your lower back on the floor throughout the movement. Lori's doing a modified version of this until you can work up to this level. I want you to breathe out all the way down past your navel. Use that breath. Exhale, eight more. Exhale. Try not to tense using your arms on the floor. Just relax the arms. The breathing really helps on this, doesn't it? Yes. Keep breathing out. We have two more now. And one more. Great. Got through that. Back stretch. Hold it there. And we're going to do another set with some resistance here. Good. Now, place your hands on your thighs, and you're going to press against your thigh as you bring your thighs in. Here we go. Exhale. And in. Exhale. On your release, that's where you really have to be careful not to arch in your back. Keep your ribs down. And this is five. Exhale. Exhale, seven. Feel any strain in your back, remember to do the back stretch. Exhale, 10. Curl the tailbone up. Release. No jerky movement. Hold it here. Okay, back stretch. Hold it there. That was really good. Four, five, six. Get ready. And now we're going to cross the ankle over your knee, your right ankle over the knee, and then contract and contract. And contract, and contract. Are you breathing out? Exhale, exhale. Seven, eight, four more. 10, 11, and 12. Good, now change to the other side. Interlace your fingers behind the head. Two, a good place to place your hands is just below at least at the top of your neck there. Keep the elbows open. Four more counts here. Exhale. Exhale, 11 and 12. Good. Both feet down and cross the right ankle over the left. And we're going to crunch to the left right side here. Here we go. One. Two. Bring your shoulder to your thigh. 
elbows back and breathe four more one more good other side change ready and contract crunch the side use the breathing to initiate the contraction exhale five six seven beginners will have their hands on the thighs to assist the contraction two more one more good transition hands behind the head and feet down and crunch and crunch crunch I want you to concentrate on compressing the ribs more than anything else press the lower back against the mat or your towel breathe out elbows out to the side remember you don't want to pull on your head this is wrong elbows open compress the ribs compress eight more exhale don't these feel great yeah Maybe. right yeah i love these oh i can feel every muscle fiber yeah, it's wonderful yeah. <laughs> 24 oh. good bring your knees in cross oh. your ankles and cross your forearms and crunch this is our finale here coming up you bring your tailbone toward the forehead now we went right into this full crunch but if you feel that you need to stretch, it's a good time to do it. We do a lot of these. Okay, 11. Exhale, 12. Blow it out. We're doing 20, 15, 16, four more. One, and two, and three. Hey, hold it here, hold it here. Hang in there. Great, arms straight forward. And pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good finish. This is a great finish. Now let's really enjoy our cool down now, okay? Bring the legs up and we're gonna hug the thighs, bring them in. Enjoy the stretch here. Breathe. You you deserve it. Now hold the right and stretch out the left all the way down pull it there good now bend and cross the right ankle over the knee and pull the thigh in keep breathing great now place the foot down and roll over to the other side grab your ankle or foot and we're stretching the front of the thigh now Press the hip forward, hold it there. Good stretch. Place the calf on the calf, open up the chest, and use your left hand to press the knee down a little bit and get a better stretch here. Good, roll over. Pick the thigh up, bring it into the chest, readjust yourself, and bring the knees in, and let's start the other side. Keep stretching. Other side now, stretch the right leg down, feel the lengthening of the leg, and bend the knee, cross the ankle over, and pull the thigh in. Keep breathing, hold, the, hold don't hold your breath here. Okay, now we're gonna roll over to your other side, and grab your ankle or foot, pull the thigh back and stretch the thigh. Good, press your hip forward. And now place your foot on your calf or just above it. And open up, Ch shoulders down, chest open to the ceiling. Use your hand to press the knee down to get a better stretch. Good, now roll over and pick the thigh up. And bring the thigh into the chest as you roll over. Adjust yourself, grab your thighs, and roll up slowly. Two. <sighs> Oh, we're finished. Yeah! All right. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? I'm Good proud of everybody. I'm, I'm very proud of all, right. all of you. All right. Good work. Good, Good work. Uh, 
Don't you just want to die? I know. You want to kill me, right? Kill CB. CB, she brings good things to thighs. Oh, listen, she suggests that you do this three times a week. I know it sounds like a lot, but obviously the more you do the tape, the sooner you're going to see those results. And, I, and believe me, I couldn't even get halfway through it when I first started. So don't get discouraged. It gets easier, okay? For those days that you can't do the whole tape, I'd like to take you around my house now and show you different ways that you can work out those body parts in ways you never expected. Da, 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 da. Shake your body for me. Come on, everybody. <laughs> As you can see, we're warming up, which is a critical part of any workout. And there's no excuse in the world, even if you've had a baby, not to work out. You use your child as resistance, and you have a good time together doing it. I'll show you a couple of good ones for the abs, for your, your tummy, and also for what is called the quads. But to you and me, they're thighs. We know a thigh when we see one, right? Okay. Thank you, Cassidy. Here we go. Ready? And one. And two. Two and three. Of course, you might get slimed in the process, but you're used to that, you new moms. Four mm -hmm. and five. And then hold it. Do as many reps as a baby will let you. Every one of them will count eventually. Yes. Then while they're there, you work those quads. Ready? Here we go. One and two and three and four and five and six. Good girl. Seven and eight. And they learn how to count this way too. And ten and down. Watch out once they start getting teeth, which she has two now. And then we go. If they'll let you, we use them as a bench press. Ready? One and two and three. Yeah. And then you say, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is my kitchen. I'm just kidding. I know my kitchen, for goodness sakes. I make reservations from this telephone every day. So maybe I don't know my kitchen as well as you know yours. Did you know that you can use your very own kitchen sink to work those hamstring areas? You know those trouble spots lots of us ladies have? All you do is start whatever task. By the way, you may try this at home. We'll just start any task you have to do. Put both legs together, lean up against the sink. Okay, steady yourself, be careful. You do have a sharp object. And then as you're doing whatever task it is you're doing, take one leg at a time and bring it up to your buttock. Squeeze as hard as you can for one count. Down, squeeze, down, squeeze, down. About 10 reps on each leg, or whatever you've got time for. And it really does work that hamstring area. All of this adds up after a while. I don't have time to cook. Cody needs me. I love you. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> my little Batman. I love you. This is the time of day you think it's never going to get here. We've read our books, we've had our bath, we've brushed our teeth, we've said our prayers, and now it's time to relax. I sit here on this little love seat in Cody's bedroom, and I just listen to his music along with him, and I just start very slowly bringing my muscles in, in my legs close to my chest, hugging them, each leg very slowly, limbering up, then I take one leg at a time, lift it as high as I can, hug along the bottom of your thigh, flex your foot, and hold for at least 10 seconds. You'll feel it, but it's relaxing as well. It's one of those pains that feels good, you know? Then you take the other leg, lift it, flex the foot, hug the thigh, and hold it there. Hold it as long as you can. The more stress you've had during the day, you hold it the longer. And with Regis in my life, I hold it, oh, three or four hours sometimes. <laughs> but don't get too relaxed because there's still one thing left to do. Well, you have to brush your teeth, don't you? I know what you were thinking. And no, 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 I was thinking about the buns. They've been good to you, you be good to them. This is how you do it. When you're brushing your teeth, you steady yourself in front of your sink with one of your hands, brush with the other, got it? Put your feet at an angle like this, flat to the floor. Slowly lower yourself down with your thigh muscles. Now, this is the important part. You're gonna let your bottom do the lifting. Let your buttocks do the work. Okay, then you're, while you're down there, you squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Hold it, hold it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 10 or 15 seconds. It's, it, I know it's painful, but it works. 
squeeze and brush, squeeze, brush. Oh, and then you slowly release. And one more time. And then you're ready for the most important workout of the whole day. Oh, Frank. Her keeping me young is killing me. <laughs>